Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm filming at the end of 2020, however, this won't go live till 2021 because I'm kind of taking a break, but I'm trying to sort out my room, organise it. I keep, like, flicking my wrist like that and it, well, that's not a good example, but like that and I'm setting off something on here actually and uh, that's what that stands for basically i keep accidentally pressing the thing for do not disturb so obviously at christmas if you haven't watched my video you know i received a trolley like an organizing trolley not like you know one of those big ones like an actual little like mini mini trolley and i put stuff in it will stuff stay in it honestly i don't know there's a mixture of stuff in here. I've got two mascaras, I've got two rulers, I've got two um, liquid lipsticks, I've got mocha and blush. However, I've got the older ones that I had. So like, obviously at Christmas I got some new ones at that shade, but I still haven't completely finished my old ones. I've got a mini hand sanitizer, I've got a portable charger, for my phone i've got rubber and i've got a lip balm so basically i've got a mixture of things but i have nothing to use for it granted it is for like pens and that but i don't like i have pencil pots and pen pots for that like i have two well one's a um you know like how you'd have those coin tins like and how you'd get the coca-cola ones well basically mine is like one of those but it's without the lid and i also just have this purple pencil pot that i've had for years it doesn't really match my room but i'm not going to replace things when things don't work like there's no point i currently have my candle on it's the it's like the cinnamon apple or something yeah and I do currently have my portable speaker on because when I'm actually going to be organising things I'm going to be listening to music it's going to be fairly simple for me to organise my stuff like I've got some things that I need to some things that I put on my stool that I need to put back in the box and that but other than that I'm fairly good and I've got some clothes that I still need to put away that is still on the floor I took my Christmas tree off of my bed not my bedside table wow off of my dresser because it was kind of in the way and I know it's considered Scrooge to sort of take it down so soon after Christmas but for me I didn't want it up any longer I have had it up since the 28th like it's still made you can't see it but it is still made but because I can't I don't know where the box is because they took it I think it was put back in the loft so that's probably gonna get sorted tomorrow so that'll create space in my room and honestly I think I'm at the point where I've got things organized where things will have a place and yeah and then to clear out my some part of my bookcase i just need to eat sweets because i put all the sweets from christmas in my bookcase some of them i've eaten well quite a well no, i was about to say quite a lot of a bit of them i've eaten but i haven't i've still got quite a few left and so you've got a lot left but that's going to be a I eat generally as I go obviously you eat more over Christmas I know you all miss your friends but don't go meeting up with six seven people like no just don't just stay at home your social life isn't going anywhere just because there is a pandemic going on if your friends are true friends They'll still be there after this is all over. Just stay indoors, people. Just stay indoors. 
because the sooner you stay indoors, the sooner you follow these guidelines, the sooner people will have been vaccinated and also things will, <laughs> cases will drop and people will go back to normal. Like everything will go back to normal. <laughs> or a normal anyway. Honestly, I've partly benefited because right at the start, I was like everyone else, I was organising, I was getting rid of stuff and I was just clearing stuff out. Granted, the stuff I was clearing out wasn't stuff I needed anyway, like it was stuff for crap from years ago that I just couldn't really be asked to throw away. And then I've just sort of like organised and I've rearranged things and I've maybe re and I've repurposed a crate that I have in my room and so I'm one of the lucky few that's not been negatively affected like yeah I'll have some like yeah I'll have the odd day where I'll miss my friends but they are only a snapchat call away honestly though I, I have no clue what I was talking about because background noise but I'm not looking forward to the chaos that's going to ensue when I go to uni because I'm going to have to organise everything again granted I will be taking a lot less well like there's some stuff that I don't use on a regular basis but you know you want to keep that makes sense but you've also got to think I've got so much in my room anyway that so like I have an idea of the stuff I'd be taking but it definitely wouldn't be anywhere near as much as what I have now and it's just it's gonna be so nice some of the stuff that I have now is necessary so like I still have some notes from last year I don't think I think I still have some notes from last year I'm pretty sure I do yes I do so basically I have a lot of folders that don't have use so I should probably try and get rid of them some way. I know that one of my old teachers she would she has like a closet uh, for and I am saying closet because it's like a little bit of a walk-in you know like a teacher's cupboard and where she's got old um, folders that students can use so like if students don't have folders like they can't afford folders they can get a folder out of there etc so I might do that because that's going to be the easiest way and it's just going to be the quickest way as well and it means that the folders are going to get used but then again might I need them I don't know will there be stuff I want to keep from this year I don't know well this year and last year but I don't know but yeah like I think I'm gonna be a big hoarder of books I'm more likely to be that type of person rather than hoarder of s other stuff like I won't be taking so so many clothes granted yes it might use up like two suitcases just because some of the items are a bit thicker but I won't be taking as many like care products so like hairspray setting spray like heat defense spray my cellar water body sprays etc like I won't have anywhere near as many as those so in that sense it'll be quite I don't know easy I think I'm partly reluctant to throw away stuff from when I did art in secondary. I don't know why. I think I'm just probably a little bit more connected to it. So what I might do is any pieces of work that I really enjoy, take out of the textbook, not the textbook, the sketchbook, pull it into a, a bigger folder because I know I have one of those and then compact it because I definitely don't need the massive sketch pad 
my sister could use it to do some arts and crafts because I have used pages out of it so my sister can use it for arts and crafts and yeah I've just got stuff but then it's also like well if I take that out what am I supposed to put underneath because it seems like a waste of storage if I've just got blank space if that makes sense I think that's my problem if something's empty I need to stick something in it and if I've not got anything in it then I'll probably feel like I need to buy more sort of I don't know I'm really not sure but I have a makeup case you know how you get like a makeup set and you get that like makeup sort of thing I've got one of those that I definitely don't use but I don't know whether it's something that would be worth selling like would people buy it on Depop because I don't use it I more stick like I have two like because I got some brushes and one but I don't keep my brushes in that like even when traveling I don't like I will use the other one and so I'm thinking do I actually do that or what <laughs> yeah honestly I don't know and like there's also like a mini mouse like you know like the small backpacks I've got one of those and they it is never actually like stick up like I always when I whenever I put them on my back the ears are always just like down and hidden and I don't use it so I don't know whether I should sell it well I don't know whether it's worth selling because I think part of the year is like ripped off so I think it might have to be something that's for the bin honestly I don't often use mini backpacks I think I do more in the summer like even if I'm going to the shop I use a mini backpack because it's so much easier but then and also it's sort of like less it feels like less work because you don't want to carry a handbag on your arm in the summer like a backpack a small backpack is so much easier and also due to not having been on a holiday this year whether like in the UK or even abroad it I've not had a, a reason to take them out either like I have a small backpack that I got last Christmas so I don't need the mini one but I've just got it in there like I've got another handbag in like I've got a handbag underneath my bed that I don't use that I got probably years ago now actually so that could go on Depop I still need to stick my stereo on Facebook marketplace and yeah mm. <sighs> yeah I just need to get on with my room and then I want to get to reading I also want to do like a face mask but I'm probably also going to cleanse tonight but I also don't know because I double cleanse in the shower and I'm having a shower tomorrow so I'm thinking should I just put off the cleansing till tomorrow and just do a face mask or what or should I just do a face mask tomorrow like if I'm doing having a shower in the morning, should I face mask at night? Yeah, I've got a notebook. So when we start the new content, I'm going to start the new notebook. And I'm going to leave the last few pages of my old notebook for if I still have notes. If I still need to write something up for others. And some people might see it as a bit of a waste, but... Actually no, I know what I'm going to use those last few pages for because well, I've got a topic that continues on in throughout the whole year when I have the next lesson of that I'm going to use the last pages of that 
for that work so my research unit is goes through the whole of the year so I'm going to continue on with the research notes in that book so that then it's sort of more all together and then the new topics I'm going to write in the new notebook and that's in a way a plan because then that way I'm not wasting pages but also then my content is in like the new subjects are in a new book if that makes sense so like sometimes so like when you'd go from like year seven to year eight because you'd have different teachers you'd get new books and that's just basically how it is granted it's like mid-year but I have written that much in the old notebook that starting a new one isn't as big, a as big of a deal. I've got 31 sides of A4 so actually that is quite a lot but when it comes to doing stuff for the unit I know I can use those pages and I think I would just prefer the new units in a different textbook in not textbook in a different notebook and also because then when it comes to doing like those first assignments I don't have to flick as far for the content and like the notes whereas I'd have to flick to the back of the book to get notes on health psychology or empowerment and it's just gonna be a bit annoying so it's just easier to be in a different notebook okay so it's now quarter to 12 so i'm gonna give you a little update on what i've done etc i've definitely not done 250 steps like the fitbit want me to i've done apparently done 5717 but i doubt that because moving your arm about counts as a step so far tonight i didn't do any of the organizing i did do some reading and actually it was of to kill a mockingbird i haven't read any of that since like talking to you like since earlier so obviously before when i was talking to you last i was on page two. well no i wasn't on page i'd read 182 pages and now I have read 245 so that's what 43 pages I've read so a pretty substantial amount which has meant I've got 63 pages 63 slash 64 pages to go so I'm definitely in a high chance of finishing this before the end of 2020 Originally, I didn't think I was, but now I, I've realised that I am. It's like, oh, yes. But like I said, I hadn't read any more pages of this. However, I know it's going to be a fairly easy read. And also, you're going to be so proud of me. I did some assignment work. And it was actually on an assignment. I haven't even started. So, I've got... Actually, I got out my planner because I'm that organised. I'm not. I have four things due in. Three new assignments and a resub. So, I the assignment I was working on tonight was the sociology assignment that I had not started. I'd made a start on my letter that I needed to do for my resubmission. However, that was previous nights. And... I'd done part of my scenario for complementary therapy and alternative medicine but I have not started research yet just because it's the big mama task and also it is the one that's due in the latest so it's not that as though I'm leaving it to the last minute but I'm prioritising even though there's a massive load of stuff to do for that research assignment but I have basically got like an extra week to do it it's during at 9 a.m on the 11th however in my mind it's during like by midnight on the 10th because then it makes it easier on me and i don't have to worry about making sure i get it in for nine if for whatever reason we had a power outage at half eight and it meant that i couldn't upload it if that makes sense so that's what i've done so 
I definitely need to crack on with my complementary therapy assignment because I have only done part of the scenario and I've technically only done like a quarter of one of the criteria for my sociology so I definitely want to get at least one of my criteria done by the first just because that'll make it a bit easier but I'm thinking once I get into once I've actually finished the scenario and I get into the swing of things with my complementary therapy assignment it should become a little easier I'm not saying it's going to be easy but it should be easy to write about because I'll have more of an idea of the direction it's going whereas I think at this point it's required because it's requiring me to do so much thinking it's a little bit more tricky so yeah and also it is like the top top assignments for sociology and comp the mentor therapy, at least for the new ones anyway. Research, it's high criteria, but it's also not. It's only the second assignment in the unit and there are four in total. The third assignment, I don't remember what format it is in. I don't know why I'm saying that because I can literally look at it. But the fourth assignment is like a vlog style. It's done in a report. I've got basically we got a book with all the briefs and but the guidance sheets are online for us well on our system anyway but even though I didn't exactly organize this stuff I feel accomplished in the fact that I've almost finished To Kill a Mockingbird now what I will say about this is it does seem to get easier to read as I'm getting towards the end I think it's because it's becoming more interesting like the plot for before the trial was very like plain very boring wasn't really going anywhere but now that it went through the trial and it's now just after the trial and things are being a bit of a mystery as to is this person going to be okay it's becoming more interesting to me and so yes there is that but I did some assignment work I did some reading yeah I feel pretty good I actually feel really good with myself and yeah I shouldn't really be hyping myself up this much because am I going to be doing the exact same thing tomorrow? I don't know but and I've had all day like I could have been working on assignments all day but I just wasn't in that mood. I haven't been in that mindset for since before we broke up and yeah I think in the last week before we broke up because I was focusing so much on my personal statement I couldn't give a shit about assignments and <laughs> all my friends like a lot of my friends we were focusing on personal statement and getting it done because that does have like even though the deadline's further away it also seems a bit the deadline also seems a bit more important as well so we kind of wanted to get it in so we didn't have to worry about it or at least I have anyway but I know that my friends haven't quite finished yet I think they're almost there but they've just got a little way to go but what's kind of scary is that in 10 days time I could have an offer from a uni like I might not but I could and that is crazy and now I'm wow why am I getting emotional it's probably because it's so late at night like oh my god I think the closer I come to getting an email to say yeah your reference is on there and we've received it and like sent it out etc like the closer I get to that 
it's a little bit more like not nerve-wracking but excite it's like a mixture of nerves and excitement so it's like anticipation and it's just yeah but I, w I didn't listen to music I burnt my candle for a bit but like maybe like at least an hour but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up I was about to lose the pen off my thing there and off my bed there and let's try and get this video to five likes five likes seems simple make sure you hit that subscribe button because i'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of 2021 and actually that's a good thing well that reminded me of something we hit our 360 subscriber goal for 2020 like i hit the 360 subscribers we hit that so here is to 1000 in 2021 imagine if i ended up at the end of this year with 2021 subscribers not this year 2021 but yeah imagine let me know in the comment section of any videos you want to see from me in 2021 uh, and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys